Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about the next simple and important topic called as the classification and, arch and architecture of virus. So the following criteria are used to classify the virus. So first one is the morphology. So on the basis of morphology that is on the basis of size and shape of protein coat or the capsid, we classify the different plant viruses okay so classification based on morphology it includes the plant virus is classified on the basis of structure of capsid as we know that the outer coat or the outer protein coat of virus is called as an capsid so presence or absence of protein coat and the size of protein coat we have to uh, uh, we have to classify the uh, virus the next on the basis of presence or absence of envelope in some of the viruses envelope is absent and some of the viruses envelope are present so on the basis of presence or absence of envelope we classify the virus then next is the uh, on the basis of size of virion we classify the virus okay for example as we know that virion means what the infectious virus particle is called as virion that is the single virus particle is called as virion so on the basis of size of that virus particle so as we know that the different viruses having the different size uh, virus uh, different size of that particle okay for example it ranges from 20 nanometer to 2000 nanometer the range of that size of virus particle is there so on the basis of size of uh, virus particle we classify the virus the next which uh, host is involved third one is on the basis of type of host or the host structure the virus that infected on the basis of that type of host we classify the virus it include first one is bacteriophages that means the virus which attack on the bacterial cell that is called as a bacteriophage so virus that attack and grow on the bacterial cell is called as a bacteriophage so bacterial cell acts as a host for the virus multiplication so first one is bacteriophage so bacteriophage or bacterial cell acts as a host for the development of virus particle second one is plant viruses that infect the plant cell so plant uh, viruses that infect the plant cell that means the plant cells acts as the host for the development of virus okay third one is the animal viruses are subgrouped by the the tissue that they attack okay so they are classified again reclassified as a dermotrophic that is some of the viruses they are infect the skin is called as a dermotrophic and some of the viruses that attack on the uh, nerve tissues is called as a neurotrophic viruses and last one is the genome composition this is on the basis of the dna and rna we classify the viruses okay for example some of the viruses are double stranded that is called as a ds double stranded dna for example the rice tungro virus or rice tungro virus is a or rice tungro bacilliform virus is called as an the uh, double stranded it having the double stranded dna or second example is cauliflower mosaic virus here cauliflower mosaic virus it's it's having the double stranded dna that virus having the double stranded dna second one is sing ss dna that is single stranded dna so single stranded dna for example the maize streak virus is an example of single stranded dna which having the ss dna next one is double stranded rna so some of the viruses which having the double stranded rna okay uh, for example so uh, for example the bean golden mosaic virus having the double stranded rna next one is ss rna that is single stranded rna so some of the viruses which having the single stranded rna okay for example the uh, pigeon fist relative mosaic virus having the single stranded rna or tobacco mosaic virus having the single stranded rna so near about 90 to 95 percent viruses they are single stranded rna okay so double stranded dna single stranded dna 
and double stranded RNA and single stranded RNA. So on the basis of genome composition, we classify the virus. So in short, how or on the on what basis that classification virus is takes place? For example, on the basis of morphology. Second one, on the basis of size of virus particle or virion. Third one, on the basis of on which host or on which type of the host that virus is attack. Some of the viruses they attack on the bacteria, some of the viruses attack on the plant, some of the viruses attack on the animals. So on the basis of which type of host is for the attack of uh, plant viruses is there. On the basis of type of host, virus is classified. And last one is on the basis of genome composition, that is presence of uh, RNA or DNA or presence of single standard or double standard RNA or presence of single standard double standard DNA. On the basis of that, we classify the virus. So this is the brief uh, uh, information about the classification of viruses. Okay, so if you have any difficulty regarding that classification of virus, so we can ask me. So it is very simple topic for your examination. Okay, so if you have any difficulty, so you can ask me personally. Thank you.